Hi Leo and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel and if you're new here, welcome. So this is the general reading for October 2021 for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Remember it's general, it won't resonate with all of you. So let's look at the overall energies for the month, first of all. Okay, I'm really getting a restless energy coming through here. Um, for some of you. Maybe a bit of impatience. So the bottom of the deck we've got caring connections and we've got walking away. A few things, some of you who are in a relationship could be thinking about moving on. Or someone may walk away from you or this could be energetic. Um, there's someone here in your heart you've never been able to let them go and you're trying to detach your energy many of you have lots of options um, in terms of your spiritual growth and the next door you go through it's up to you So for some of you are moving on from a love situation. Yeah, this is what I was feeling. I was feeling impatience. So you are being guided to be patient because in divine timing, things will change. And that's all about the energy. You know, if you've been in a situation that doesn't serve you and you move on, then it's then about healing, isn't it? Finding your balance. Wow, we've got the angel of balance here. This is what they were telling me. They were saying, some of you need to heal and be aligned within to basically manifest what you, what you want. And this is why some of you feel impatient because you're asking, why is it not coming in? When's it gonna happen? And that's when it doesn't happen. When people ask, when's it going to happen? I see this a lot in comments, so I'm just commenting here because it's come up. Um, I'm not saying it's you, you know, in particular. Um, when you have that expect, it's like you put out an expectation um, that you want to know when, then it doesn't come in for you. In particular, if you put a time on it, a time frame. That's why I don't answer questions about timing, because I believe it actually goes against you. So Archangel Chamuel is helping some of you right now with your third chakra. So this is about motivation. Um, inspiration. healing, really getting healing here, coming through. Some of you may have had some um, stomach issues as well, and that again could be because of fear. A lot of blue here for the throat chakra, so some of you need to find your voice. So let's take some tarot as well for Leo. So you've got a lot of yellow again, that's quite interesting. The healing that I feel a lot of you are going to do. 
really feel in your element. Um, doing very well for yourselves. Some of you may work for yourselves or this is something you're going to do and you will be successful if you commit to yourself. But what I'm getting is the heart chakra for some of you is a bit blocked. So a few chakras coming through here. Um, it's like it's not fully opened not awakened yet, that's what they're telling me. But yeah, um, if you're growing something, a business project that you're passionate about, you'll be very successful. You may be doing this with someone else or this is on your mind, joining with someone else. Another message of patience here. Quite interesting, we've had that twice. We've got a bird here that stays, a dove, and a bird flying away. So with that walking away, you know, it could be that some of you are moving on from a relationship or someone's moving on from you because you've got single energy here. Some of you may have worked with this person and then you decide to go it alone or you leave your job. So you're no longer in communication with them anymore. Take what resonates. We've got Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's take some more cards. Wow, this deck has two King of Pentacles, one feminine, one masculine. Doesn't matter about gender, but clearly this is your match. And again, you know, the Pentacles here showing you could be very abundant together. This is either what's to come or you may already work with this person. I feel this could be long term for a lot of you, um, you may build a home together and a family as well, or bring families together. With all these circles, I'm seeing that for some of you and with the lovers, um, this is a very strong connection. Like it goes back centuries, basically, you know. Um, Past life connection, twin flames. There's a lot of love there. And this is showing someone here returning from the past. It's like they're going through a portal. You know, they want this new beginning. But the Knight of Wands is a bit flaky. So just watch out for that energy. Um, this could even be someone else, because we've got two kings and a knight. Or this could be you, with that walking away. Making a decision with the lovers to walk away from one particular situation. Take what resonates here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and Gemini. Let's clarify um, the king of pentacles. Okay, and the Knight of Wands. Wow, okay, so I'm getting it's the same person, it's just the energy here. Could be, you know, could be a little bit off, but we've got your energy Leo, um, High Priestess, Pisces, King of Wands, someone who knows what they want, they're very passionate, they feel this connection with you. Could be a very positive outcome, 
working together that I'm really feeling here. Um, this person is very intuitive. There's a very spiritual connection between you both. And for the Knight of Wands, you know, this is showing someone who wants a reunion. Um, stability. We've got the Ace of Pentacles twice. Finding this abundance together, as we had here. And the Ten of Pentacles again. <laughs> so, yeah, this could be long term with this person. They may just be a little bit um, flaky still, which would show a misalignment. That's why you're being guided to be patient there. They may even walk away, or you may, for a while. And this is needed, okay, in these connections sometimes. Yeah, you see some challenges may occur. Got to put this out there. Someone here has been through some suffering, conflict that gets in the way. Could even be a third party because we do have a three here. But there is a lot of love. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm seeing here this solid offer again. Um, you will get through this, is what they're saying. You may just have some challenges, basically, um, along the way. Wow. <laughs> Same message of, um, you know, working together, strongly coming through here, in mission. Self-love is needed for both of you. This is sort of the healing um, that's needed here in order to both be in alignment. One of you, as I said, has been through some difficult times, maybe neglect, not feeling loved. So now it's about loving yourself. And being in that good vibration. Collaboration here. Yeah, there's a lot around mission coming through. So I really do feel twin flames. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's take some whispers of love. Okay, I can see how these all link up. So embrace your emotions that come out. Yeah, let them come out. Purge, be strong. Love who you are. So I was just saying, someone here really needs to do that, whether it's you or this person. Break free from the past and kind of um, awaken but be in your power is what I'm getting there a journey that a lot of you have been on here and you do have an ancestor guiding you many ancestors actually wow <laughs> we've had this message three times now Leo so I've just got to point this out now, with all the cards, have patience. 
Love is patient and kind always. So for some of you, maybe it's about being patient with this person, having compassion. It's coming through as well here. Seeing things differently. You know, if they do basically leave your life again or keep doing this, um, this is where you need to be patient because they have some inner demons they need to work through to get to that energy of unconditional love for themselves. So this is really coming through a lot in this reading. But this is beautiful. I smiled when I saw it. The union of hearts is your potential. All the yellow here showing when you've both healed, you can come back together. You'll be drawn back together very solid again like that ace of pentacles we had yeah and the yellow this is where you can share your love not just together but you know with the collective and help in some way is what they're telling me help the collective you both have a gift you share and you may also have different gifts that are, you know, you're different but similar in some ways. Is what they're telling me here. Um, yeah, again, we've got mountains here showing you do have some obstacles to overcome, first of all. Okay, let's take a charm. So we've got the octopus, which reminds me of the high priestess. Trust your intuition. This person could be very intuitive as well, very spiritual. You both may have spiritual gifts that you share. The horse here for strength, determination, courage. As you move on your journey. And with this person, you know, I feel you need to be quite strong here. But we've got a leaf showing you can start again. You can turn over a new leaf in your life, I'm feeling. You know, healing, work on your healing and potentially with this person. So autumn time is really coming through, which, you know, we're in right now. Um, one of you could have the horse as your Chinese zodiac sign as well. Okay, Leo, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love and I'll see you soon. <laughs>